time now to head to the Kenyan Heartland for a very unique cricket tournament. It's uh, supporting conservation, uh, it's drawing attention to uh, rhino conservation in particular, which is what Old Pejeter is famous for. The last male standing Rhino Cup was set up for the first time in 2015, so this is our, our fourth event. It started out as a collaboration between Old Pejeter Conservancy here in Laikipia on the slopes of Mount Kenya. It's a fabulous place to come and play cricket, um, it's a fabulous place to come and see wildlife. Um, so you can come with families as well, there's plenty for kids to do. Fantastic rhino conservation sanctuary. Over 140 rhinos here, including Sudan, the last male standing, hence the name of the tournament. And he sadly passed away just a few months ago. You know, I think we've been quite surprised by how quickly the event has grown in popularity. I think the truth of the matter is there are a few better places to play cricket in the world. My name is Richard Vine. I'm the CEO of the Old Pejeta Conservancy in Laikipia in Kenya. just brilliant to see the growth in the sport each year. So it's gone from five teams in the first year with three charity teams involved. We still have the three charity teams involved, along with 13 other teams this year. So we've had 16 teams and 270 people coming in to be a part of this year's Rhino Cup. It's just fantastic to see the growth and support. We work in uh, 17 slum schools in Nairobi using the conduit of cricket to promote character development amongst disadvantaged children. The experience has been amazing, playing in the world, meeting different teams, and most of all, having fun. The last month's dance has been very instrumental in our organization because through it we've been able to raise some funds so that we may be able to continue with the program. Champions of the 2018 Last Mail Standing Rhino Cup, Campbell's Sports Club.